Columbus City Council is officially putting some big changes in place to start the new year. In 2024, you'll see more board members and fewer committees. Changes the board says will help them better serve the community. Thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Colleen Marshall. Carrie is off. NBC4's Isabel Cleary was at tonight's council meeting and shows us what's in store for the new year. The first city council meeting of 2024 is one that newly re-elected President Shannon Harden is calling historic. And I can show you one of those reasons why right now. As you can see, there are now nine desks in chambers. That's two more desks and three new faces serving the city. Council will now be a hybrid district system. Each member lives in a district but still works for everyone in the city. They can count on my office to support them. I ran to uplift those voices that feel like they're forgotten and left behind, and so I want to be responsive to all of our residents, regardless of where they live. Council members drew lots to decide terms. For District 1. Five will serve four years, four will serve two, and be up for re-election in 2025. Council members need to be staggered so we don't have everybody rolling off at the same time. President and pro tem were elected, and this one was one of the few things that did not change. Both President Shannon Harden and pro tem Rob Dorans were re-elected to the positions. Another change, however, is the committees. Council is going from 21 down to 11. Um, I hope that the new structure will help facilitate better collaboration. The goal is to make the committees more aligned with the city's priorities. Uh, when we're working together and we're, um, you know, helping to build and craft and creatively problem solve together, I think we end up coming out of those processes with better baked policy, uh, which allows us to go further. So um, I definitely am hopeful that this new structure is going to help facilitate that. We are actually public servants. We are there to serve the city of Columbus and to move the city forward in ways so that everyone can prosper and thrive. If you want to learn more about the hybrid district system, we have information on our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you at City Hall, I'm Isabel Cleary, NBC4.